Hey guys, it's XPeter C1, and it's been almost a year now since I created the 4 kilobytes of RAM, and that was to try to push the Minecraft limits back then. But uh, I had an idea for now for a while, and I want to use it to test the uh, the new limitations ever since the map height has doubled. And um, it's going to be something similar to what the 4 kilobytes, but it's much larger in scale. It's going to be maybe 16 kilobytes of RAM. Uh, how I'm going to do that is... I want to separate the D flip flops into its base components and share it instead of creating each cell with its own um, its own uh, identical components in it. So when you share it, it creates a lot more space. So here is the prototype that's obviously not um, not has not been configured to its best performance or whatever or optimized. And here is a typical D flip flop. So what we have here is the input, which is the red, the clock, which is the orange, uh, yellow, which is the memory cell that holds the data, and blue is the output. So if we show how it works is that if this is one and you clock it, it saves as one, and if you say input as zero and you clock it, it'll save as zero. So that's all nice and cool for making one cell, but, um, what I'm interested in is trying to make it as big as possible. So 16 kilobytes is pretty darn big already. And if I just uh, scrap it down to its base component of just a memory cell, which is the yellow piece here, that's a lot of space save. And if I share all the um, all the inputs and the uh, and the uh, clock, it would save a lot more room. So that's what I've done here. So this this piston, this block, and this block above or air piece above that's going to be in the memory cell that's it just three pieces and the address system it might be a little bit smaller than this but this is just a prototype so what I have here is that if I input a one and and I select um, address two and I clock it it's going to save a one and if it's up here that means it's a one and if it's down here that means it's a zero so let's try to put a zero into it and you can see that it's now zero again. And if I input a zero again, it's a zero. If I input a one, it stays a one. And if I input a one again, it stays a one. So I can also do this to the second or first address. So let's just make this into a one as well. And that's it. This is just the memory cell. And the rest of it is all shared. So I can share this up to how many bits I want, but I'm going to try to make it into 16 uh, bytes, 16 kilobytes. And that's a lot of stuff to actually try to uh, test. And I, I believe that's probably going to be one of the, um, that's the Minecraft limit is probably 16 kilobytes. Uh, any more than that, you're, you really need a beast of a machine to really run it at all. And so, uh, I don't know. I had this idea for a while now, and I really wanted to try it out, but I, I don't know, I couldn't, oh, it's done, so, cool.